Dear students, welcome to the problem solving session on Evolute Part 3. In Part 1, we give the basic notations, formulas and then we solve a problem finding the evolute of the parabola y square equal to 4ax. In Part 2 video, we solve the problem for finding the evolute of x square equal to 4ay. Those who don't watch the video, those who don't watch these videos, go to the playlist, watch this video and come back to this session. Today in this session, we are going to find the evolute of an ellipse. Before going into the problem, we should know some basic differentiation. Differentiation of sin x is cos x. This is very easy but still a quick recap. Differentiation of cos x is going to be minus sin x and differentiation of tan x is going to be secant square x and differentiation of cot x is minus cosecant square x. Yeah. So, with this we start the problem. The parametric form of the ellipse is very obvious. x equal to a cos theta and y equal to b sin theta. Now, step 1 gets over. That is writing my parametric form. Step 2, we are going to deal to find y1, y2. Differentiation of cos theta is minus sin theta. That is dx by d theta and dy by d theta is b cos theta. Now, we have to find y1. y1 is dy by dx. That I can rewrite it as dy by d theta divided by dx by d theta. So, minus b cos theta divided by a sin theta. That is minus b by a cot theta. So, since for problem solving purposes to find y2, I keep y1 as like this. But when you simplifying, always keep in terms of sin and cos. Now to find y2, don't do the same mistake which I said in the previous video. Don't just differentiate cot theta as minus cosecant square theta. This is wrong. Why? y2 means differentiation of y1 with respect to x. It is not with respect to theta. But y1 is in terms of theta. So I have to convert this as d by d theta minus b by a cot theta into d theta by dx. And we know dx by d theta is minus a sin theta. So d theta by dx is going to be 1 by minus a sin theta. Now I can differentiate this. So differentiation of cot theta is minus cosecant square theta minus into minus plus b by a cosecant square theta into minus a sin theta. And we know that cosecant theta is 1 by sin theta. As I said, in simplification, we always keep in terms of sin and cos. Now, minus into minus plus, we have one more minus, minus b by a square. Cosecant square theta is 1 by sin square theta. Already one sin theta is there. So, sin cube theta. It is going to be minus b a square sin cube theta and y1 is going to be minus b cos theta divided by a sin theta. So, my step 2 gets over. Next, we have to find x bar and y bar. We know the formula for x bar and y bar. For this, this is the base. This is very important. I talk much about this in radius of curvature as well as evolute of parabola etc. Let us find this first. Just substituting the y1 value and y2 value in the formula, we are getting like this. Simplifying this, we will be getting a square sin square theta plus b square cos square theta divided by a square sin square theta and when you bring this to numerator, it will become a square sin cube theta divided by minus b. Now, I can cancel sin square theta with this and a square a square get cancelled. Simplifying this, we will be getting sin theta by minus b a square sin square theta plus b square cos square theta. So, this part is ready. Now, let us find x bar and y bar. As usual, we always find y bar. As usual, we always find y bar because it is easy. y plus the red data. Now, x is a cos theta, y is b sin theta. So, I am just writing this data. Now, multiply this sin theta inside, we will be getting minus b. Multiplying sin theta inside and simplifying, we will be getting b sin theta minus 1 by b, a square sin cube theta, b square sin theta into cos square theta. See this students, all the term consist of sin. Only one term consist of cos. So, convert into the majority. Here, sin is the majority. So, convert cos square theta as 1 minus sin square theta and simplifying, we can get a finer version. Now, substituting this and expanding, we will be getting b square sin theta minus b square sin cube theta. Multiplying this minus 1 by b inside, we will be getting like this. This b sin theta 
and b sin theta get cancelled. Now taking the minus outside and taking the sin cube theta out. Now we will be getting a square minus b square by b when you take the LCM. This is going to be my y bar. If you don't understand, I will tell you again. Taking sin cube theta here, we will be having minus a square by b plus b. Taking LCM and taking the minus, we will be getting this. Therefore, my y bar is a square minus b square divided by minus b sin cube theta. Next, we have to find x bar. x bar is x minus y1 into 1 plus y1 square by y2. We know x is a cos theta. y1 we found from the step 2 that is minus b cos theta divided by a sin theta and this is also ready. Just substitute this. Now try to cancel sin theta sin theta b b minus minus and rewriting this will be getting minus cos theta by a. Now multiply this cos theta inside. You can see cos theta cos theta cos theta everywhere cos theta except one position sin square theta. So now as usual I said go by majority convert everything into cos. Substituting 1 minus cos square theta and expanding we get like this. Now multiply 1 by a inside we will be getting a cos theta minus a cos theta. Both will get cancelled. Now take cos cube theta out. So when you take cos cube theta out we will be getting a minus b square by a cos cube theta taking LCM a square minus b square by a. This is my x bar. So step 3 gets over students. We found our x bar and y bar. What next? Now step 4 we have to eliminate theta from x bar and y bar. Let us write x bar value as well as y bar value. Now I want to eliminate theta. That is my aim. So isolate theta one side and keep the all the data to the other side. Cos cube theta is a by a square minus b square x bar. Similarly, I can write sin cube theta is equal to minus b y bar divided by a square minus b square. Good. Now I want to eliminate cos and sin. We know only one formula. Cos square theta plus sin square theta equal to 1. But here we have cos cube theta and sin cube theta. So raising the power 2 by 3, my cos cube theta will become cos square theta. So it is easy for me to apply the formula cos square theta plus sin square theta equal to 1. That's it student. So raising the power 2 by 3 on both sides will be getting like this. And then expanding the ax bar whole power 2 by 3 divided by a square minus b square whole power 2 by 3. Similarly, I can do for sin also. Now, this minus whole power 2 by 3 will get 1 because we have square here. Minus 1 whole square is 1. So, I am writing simply b y bar. Now, the problem is almost done. Cos square theta plus sin square theta is 1. Since using that rule, I can get a x bar whole power 2 by 3 plus b y bar whole power 2 by 3 is equal to a square minus b square whole power 2 by 3 because both the denominators are same. Now we get the relation between x bar and y bar without theta. Finally we are going to write the locus of center of curvature of x bar and y bar is going to be x and y. Therefore the answer is ax whole power 2 by 3 plus by whole power 2 by 3 is equal to a square minus b square whole power 2 by 3. Hope you understand. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our channel and share to your friends. See you in the next video. Bye bye.